My name is Diomata, and I am a singer-songwriter from Brooklyn, New York. I am of Latina uh, and West Indian uh, background. Um, my family is from Panama. So if anybody knows anything about Panamanians, well, some Panamanians, especially from Brooklyn, um, we definitely have a mixture of Latinidad and West Indian um, culture. Flatbush, uh, Brooklyn, this is like the hub for West Indian people and um, Latin American people. So it was just an amazing thing to be able to grow up here and be around so many people that were like me, looked just like me, and came from the same cultural uh, background. I got my start professionally on the Apollo stage for Showtime at the Apollo um, when I was about 15 years old. Um, I performed at the Apollo Theater and it was such an exciting experience for me, especially and if anyone knows anything about the Apollo audience for Showtime at the Apollo, it's no joke. So just going up there at 15 years old into 16 um, and being in front of that audience and being judged, you know, in that manner really prepared me for what this industry is now, you know, the intensity of what it is now. At the beginning of this year, 2017, I released my first video ever for a cover I did for Drake's Trust Issues. It was such an exciting experience. Um, I was actually surprisingly comfortable, especially performing in front of all of those people and having recorded my first video ever. Um, and the feedback I received was just overwhelming got almost 20,000 views on the Facebook platform, hundreds of shares, hundreds of likes, and you know, I wasn't expecting that much love for my first video, but I'm super appreciative and I just felt all the love. It's just what motivates me. Maybe the read is off? No, I think he purpose, but he wrote it in. Do, 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 do. Yep, it's right there, look. Oh, there you go. Where I'm at now, actually, is a place called The Parlor, a house, a brownstone in Brooklyn, called The Parlor. And um, I work out of this space frequently. It was actually left as a creative artist hub by the classic man himself, Jadena. Uh, to a lot of artists and a specific artist collective uh, called Aviated. There are multiple artists coming in and out of the house frequently. Um, I actually work with a producer duo named Black Magic, Zane and Solar. Um, and they've been working on my project for some time now, Alchemy. They're super dope and they work with many artists, if not all the artists that come through the house. How does it sound when you play it in the car? Sounds good. Yeah. Um, no, you know what? It like rumbles, but I, I don't think it overpowers anything. It, like you know how when you the speakers just like rumble yeah. inside the car, it gives that kind of yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also work with a talented musician by the name of Marcus the Artist. Um, he's everything you can think of: musician, mathematician, genius. Like it's ridiculous how smart this man is, but. All of them are super, super dope and contributed so much to my project, Alchemy, to make it what it is, you know, now. Because I didn't get to hear your reference, so I just made an assumption. I was just like, oh, okay, she ran back that pre-chorus part in the end. 
but we're gonna put it with an effect, and I just did the effect based on however I felt it should be. Mm. So no, I, no. I thought you were gonna tell me to make the effect match whatever you did in logic, but I didn't even know what you did in logic, so mm. that's why I was just like. It's a wild card, but it, yeah. I did what what I felt was appropriate for the song. Right, right, right. So then again, I was also expecting you to agree anyway, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm like surprised, but not surprised that you left it like that anyway. It's cool, so that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, I like um, it like that. Let me move on. For the mixing and mastering of my project, Alchemy, I actually work with an engineer by the name of. Mike Ashby of Crematorium Studios out of Long Island. I know, that's like so far from Brooklyn, you know, as a person living in Brooklyn, but it's worth it, well worth it, because he is super dope. I mean, he's worked with the likes of the Migos, Fetty Wap, Cardi B, and I know you hear the record out now, it's super dope, it sounds amazing. You know, so I definitely trust him with my project. Um, he's very meticulous, and he puts a lot of time into every single project he is a part of. So it's an honor, honestly, to for him to be a part of my process. It actually sounded like you were singing a high octave behind your lead vocal, mm-hmm. low key, but it's all right. I'm gonna okay. deal with it clean, and then if anything, we can maybe. Add some of those things in, but okay. I think your 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 other version didn't have it in there. No, it did not. Yeah, so we'll be all right. One thing that people really don't know about me is that although I make it look easy, there's a lot of hardship here. Okay, you know, nothing is easy. What you see is not easy. You know, my finances are not all in order. I've had to make major sacrifices for me to even do half of the things that I do. Moving out of Brooklyn temporarily and, you know, taking the trains late at night, uh, coming in at the crack of dawn and just, you know, things of that nature. It's really pushed me into being self-reliant. You know, what you see is basically what I produce, you know, doing my own hair, my makeup, uh, styling myself, scheduling, you know, call me a renaissance woman, I guess you can say. you know, I do what I have to do to make the dream work because this is what I love. This is my passion. One thing that I would really love to leave with, you know, my viewers and my supporters is that I really want them to, you know, be inspired, be fearless, you know, live their best life fearlessly. Be revolutionary. Be revolutionaries within your own life, within your workplace, within your art. You know, we can push the culture forward uniquely on our own by just taking those steps within our own life Um, we don't have to wait on anyone to do that for us we can definitely do it on our own i understand the aspect of adversity but trust me adversity is why i'm here it's why i continue to go it's why i even have the strength to continue to move you know the rocks that have been thrown at me this is what has made me the person that i am today so definitely be free be fearless you know You don't always have to be politically correct. It's okay to be authentic. It's okay to be real. People appreciate that. And I I firmly believe that's what people are yearning for. They're just waiting for that courageous person to do it. My project, uh, Alchemy, is actually very, very, very dear to me because, you know, it's basically about my journey up until this point. You know, over the last three, four years, I've been recording continuously and I've compiled the best records to make this project. It hasn't been an easy road getting here. I've had to make a lot of sacrifices, you know, take myself through this, you know, evolution and building that knowledge of self and it's been (laughs) very grueling, (laughs) but all worth it. And that's what this project really means to me, you know, you know, just on my journey to self evolution and just growing. And Alchemy is here, but this will not be the last. You know, I have so, so much more to do and so much more to give.